Welcome each and every one of you to episode number 17 of my run through the trials of King of Fighters. So this episode we're going to cover Antonov and these two DLC characters. We start off with Antonov, he's the boss character of this game. And um, he is pretty much a very standard heavy hitter. He actually is pretty fun to play, I kind of learned him a little bit at some point, not that much. I like, oh yeah, that one, the forward light. It's this uh, slab, which is super cool, and you, that is basically your, your main combo tool. After you have it, you go into that slab, and then you can do any special. He's very straightforward. He's just going in and punching the shit out of you. Like, you, you see his combo building also very, very simple. Oh yeah, and that is uh, going to do, like... That is uh, the, the the half circle backwards that, uh, with kick in uh, the EX version. Oh, that that is that one's cool. Like half circle with light, he's going to do uh, this shoulder bash. If you do the heavy version, he's actually heavy. Uh, is, uh, then it's actually a dash of command. Play. It's like that. So that is really cool. And the EX version is a combo extender because it will put the enemy in this knee force stance, but not necessarily on mid screen. On mid screen, it's hard to confirm of that. But not in the corner, and the corner is pretty easy. You still need to be fast enough with the inputs to um, to make it count. So there we go, and that is also wall bouncing, so you can keep the combo after that, which is pretty cool. Okay, okay, uh, but, but yeah, we do. That, okay, and then we do a DP with two punches. Oh yeah, the wall bounce, and then we catch them with the normal shoulder bash, like with the back bash, that one, and do go directly into super like that. But uh, the EX version of that. Okay, um... Oh, I did accidentally did a super there. Okay. Oh, not that one. Okay, um... Oh yeah, by the way, I think his uh, double... Yeah, double fireball punch is also a super, so... Doesn't matter if you do punch or kick, both will con uh, will result in a super. Even though I think, like, you can... Combo that? Maybe if I'm... Yeah, you can just combo that with the uh, one into one. This is pretty good. Uh, okay. Ah, damn it. Damn it. So that link is actually pretty hard. Damn it, I missed the super there. There we go. Oh, I did the punch version. Can I can I still go into a other no, I cannot. I cannot cancel out of this into the other one. That would have been sick. Uh that would have been a cool save. But sadly, that does not work. Oh, I did! I did the punch version again. Oh, damn it! Forward light punch. Forward light punch. Now the DP. Not that one. The DP. No, I did the punch version again. I'm so dumb. There we go. Finally. Finally, I did it the right way around. Damn it. Okay, um. Okay, we go into. Like, can't we just, like, go into another down heavy into forward light? 
Yeah, I can do that. So why not just do that? There we go, I could just mash it through. I love his uh, level 3, it's really cool. Like, it just has so much impact. And then that afterwards. That is happening every time you do your level 3. Like, he gets the, another cigar out of his belt, which is... <laughs> it's just sick. Um, sadly, this character is not too good. He doesn't really have a lot of power armor to go with. And is overall pretty slow, so he really g can get zoned out very easily. And, um... Like, his combos kind of lack damage when he does not have any meter. He can... And then, like, when he has meter, he kind of cannot compete with others, uh, other um, good anchors in neutral. Like, because his EX versions of his moves don't really make for good neutral choices. They are mostly to boost the combo damage. And as it's neutral that he lacks, and that is kind of bad. So that is why you don't see too many Antonovs in competitive play. So that makes him kind of hard, because it's just hard to make him work. Let's go into Whip. Now a lot of people who like Whip, I am not personally not the hugest fan because just her playstyle, like, it's not that I d dislike the character, it's just the character is definitely not for me. Kinda similar to Billy, she is, uh, to Billy Kane we witnessed before, she definitely works with uh, high range on her Whip attacks. Her down kick is not a sweep, it's uh, anti-air, which is pretty good. She has a sweep, like, with the heavy punch. Which is a super good sweep, maybe the best sweep in the game. That's like this range. That's really good for a sweep. Okay, um, but let's move into what she can do. Uh, oh, I did half circle forward, but I need uh, half circle backwards, but I need to do half circle forward. Okay, now we do the same thing, but we go into a super afterwards. Uh, maybe I have to. Oh, we cancel it into, the, into it like that. Yeah, that is her easy combo into super. And I think uh, we can transition into another thing after that one. So what do we do now? Oh. I need to do the EX version. What, what, what? What is she even doing? Uh, I, I think I'm pressing the same buttons again and again, but keeps different stuff keeps happening. Maybe maybe that is maybe that is not an EX thing. Let's let's check this out. Well, it is EX. It seems it is EX. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So I do it three times. Is that a wrecker? Oh, what the hell? That is super weird. Actually, that combo is pretty sick. Damn it. Man. Oh, uh, uh, the last one is forward. Man, that combo that combo is actually really sick. So I think she also has like some kind of uh, swinging around, like a uh, Spider-Man web swing like. If you played Marvel vs. Capcom. Okay. That combo's kind of tricky. Damn it. It's actually pretty hard. So the DLC characters generally, I think, are a little bit harder overall. Man, that... 
Maybe I need to... Maybe I need to do it like that. Okay, and then I do a norm... Yeah, that is way easier. I need to cancel out. Oh, I... Uh, oh, wait. No, no, no. It's... Yeah, I have to do it that way. Okay. I th just thought maybe I need to cross up with... Uh, like, I need to calculate for the crosser with the super, but I just need to be faster, I think. Oh, not that one. Okay. I just need to be like... Uh, yeah, I need to be like that. Okay, I uh, okay. So the thing which I didn't do right here was to do the super in the end fast enough. What I have to do is I have to do the half circle forward, and the end of the half circle, the second half of the circle, is a quarter circle, obviously. And that quarter circle in the end of the half circle for the half circle punch is actually our first quarter circle for the double quarter circle super. So. You do a half circle forward punch and then another quarter circle forward and kick and then it's like... And then uh, it comes out fast enough, enough. So that is what I have to do. Ah, damn it! I tried to do half circle uh, kick at first, but I need to do the punch. There we go. Yeah, that is how you do it. Next subject. Um, okay, th so this is the last one. There we go on her climax. Oh, oh, it's again that one. Okay. Okay. But I need to do the double kick version. There we go. Cancel was pretty easy. Maybe she does not have a like web spring like attack and for neutral, but only in the super, and that is why I thought that. Anyways, let's uh, let's just talk a really quick about her. She is definitely very zoning heavy. She's kind of like she's very good good comparable to him, like zones with normals and stuff. Um, as you can see her combo pathing is a little bit harder and uh, a lot of her moves are kind of slow in exchange for the huge range so with her you kind of play the walking wall strategy and want to walk your enemy in the corner and just stop every approach that is basically your game plan and uh, you're not really allowed to do man too many mistakes she doesn't have that much health and um, yeah so she is a little bit more of the harder set of characters I would say now let's go to Yamazaki, definitely one of the harder characters in the game. I mentioned earlier that he has this Ouroboros fighting technique that some characters in this game have, but he is basically the, the best user of it in this game and he is a huge douchebag. That is that is all, he, uh, all his character and um, he's pretty cool and right now this is his theme, I really like his theme. The music in this game, by the way, is amazing. I haven't mentioned that before, but some characters have such cool themes. Some teams have so cool themes. Like, uh, the, the music in this game is just really good. Okay, so he is a little bit interesting because he got some power armor moves and I think a counter super as well, or some counter move. And he has a stance in which he kind of uses a lot. So he's a character that definitely not tries to move too much. He's a very stationary character that has a lot of reach on his specials, and you will see that. So yeah, that's half circle backwards already has pretty good reach. Like, just, like look at that. That's really, really good. And it's funny because I, there's no uh, EX version. Oh, I can, can't. Oh, that that is uh, the stance. So that is. I can hold that and cancel out of it. Which is interesting. Um, and I think he has like... Maybe he has like some kind of variation? I don't know how. Anyways, let's um, jump into more of his trials. Okay, we do heavy punch, 
Hoff's quarter took a back. Oh, yeah, that's pretty easy. Pretty simple hit confirming super. Very standard. Okay, now. Uh, yeah, he. Yeah, that is that is definitely a thing with him. Okay, he has an. His fireball motion is like this uppercut like thing. And. Yeah, that is a combo extender mostly. Well, not 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 like that, but the EX version. Or I think maybe if you hit the enemy airborne. Anyways, uh, his uh, half circle, uh, quarter circle backwards double punch is very similar to like the normal version. Like yeah, that is oh that is how it was. You have different versions that you can do. You can do okay. <laughs> This is how he worked with his stance. So when I do quarter circle backwards, I can do light kick, light punch, or heavy punch. Not though with heavy kick. Heavy kick does not work. But the other ones put me all in the same stance. But based on, I can now press a different button. No, I know I can't. I can when I'm in the stance. I can press um, heavy kick to cancel out of the stance. But uh, depending on which button I pressed first, it will be either this hit with light kick, this hit with light punch, or this hit with uh, heavy punch. So there you have a little mix up, and like obviously this is a really good anti-air. That is why how he works. Like he can work on this range really good, like where he can poke you with that, but um, he can also like just hit you low like that. And when you try to approach him, when he does that, because you think there's another poke coming in, you can also just... Maybe he has this one on deck. And he can cancel out if he realizes the one he has on deck is not the right one. And uh, the EX version actually is hits low at first, and then combos the enemy upwards. Like, hits low at first and then hits upwards, so it can, use, it can be used as an anti-air as well to a certain extent, I think. Wait, no, not really, I think. But uh, he places the enemy before him and then he can go into more moves, combo a little bit further. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, and then I need to do the light kick version. That cancel is hard. Oh, and I messed it up. There we go. Okay, um... And there we have a little combo extension there. And he can go into this one, but... Uh, Mashing did not work out there. Oh, wait. Can I do that maybe? Ah, it seems to not work that way. Sad. But I think I can just go like... And then do the double fireball, right? Wait, that, that should work. Yeah, that works. Wait, I didn't. I didn't. Con I. I just. I just don't. I better just don't. I'm not. Not. I don't need to make this harder than it already is. Oh, he also has a forward light, which is an overhead, I believe. Ah, damn it. The confirm is really tight. You have to be pretty fast on that one. Damn it. There we go. So, also, uh, Yamazaki's aesthetics are basically a violent thug. And he also uses dirty tricks where he can, so yeah. 
Um, you'll see that. He has another super, which is super funny. I think his climax also, like, he grabs some random items from the background. Like, not, not necessarily the background. He just grabs some heavy items that weren't there before, that are not there, just from somewhere behind him and then smashes the enemy with it. That's really funny. Um, okay, now we do this into a super, okay. Okay, um... So, how does the cancel there work? Do I do it immediately? I don't know where I have to cancel this. Let's see the demo play there. Okay, after pulling it out. So, mm, the cancel is kind of hard. Man, that cancel actually. I cannot get that done. I cannot get that right right now. I don't get it. Okay, I get the two punches with that, okay. Hmm. So I'm just rambling random stuff uh, that is going on in my head while I try to do this combo. So hard. I'm doing it. I'm doing the right motion. There we go. Okay, my problem was. I was uh, doing the motion too fast. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, I, I just want to uh, redo this uh, super because I believe uh, what I didn't do is when you do his level 3, like this one, you have to mash buttons while the enemy is in the air. Like that. And then he is doing that, yeah. And that does more damage. By the way, that was an item that is on a different map in the background, so maybe he actually grabs... on When you're not on the training stage, maybe he actually grabs stuff from the map you're on. Maybe it's just completely random. But yeah, that's Yamazaki for you. So, let's go into the member select and just recap, it, the, just recap a little bit what, uh, what those team members were. Like, these are not a team, but... Um, all of them are more on the harder set. He is more on the harder set because he is actually not that good. Definitely can make him work, but uh, he has a lot of problems, and that makes it hard for him to make him work. She is harder because um, you really need to know what you do with her, and you cannot really let people get in on you for free, and when you do that, you're kind of doomed with her. And he uh, has a very unique playstyle. He is, I think, in my opinion, of the three, the coolest character. Um, he's extremely unique. He has unique aesthetics that I actually think are pretty cool. I like this violent thug thing. Maybe you don't like his laugh. I could understand that. Um, but overall, like, he just plays very unique. You kind of just do this mid-game, uh, mid mid-range control thing and he is extremely damaging when he has meter so he is not really a character you necessarily want to put first except for if you anticipate a specific matchup because he can be pretty matchup heavy and destroy certain characters and get destroyed in other matchups and that's it for this episode next episode we do verse vanessa and rock howard and um I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'm going to see you then. Goodbye.